All right, guys, if you guys seen my last video, I was talking about the watermelons and how we were gonna juice the peels. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, I have my watermelon juice all made up for me and my brother here. I'm just gonna set that to the side. I don't know if I should do this one. Oh, this is the one I made this morning. It's like beet juice. Um, what was it? Beet juice, celery, beet juice, celery, ginger, kale. And I always just pick one apple just for sweetening. I, I need to stop doing that though, because you know, I gotta save my apples for you know the peel stuff. This is this is the stuff I need to save my apples for, because you know, eating drinking this by itself, it's not really gonna taste so pleasant. But I'm gonna go ahead and sweeten it up with an uh, apple and some celery and yeah, maybe some some ginger this time. I didn't want to use ginger last time, but I'll use ginger this time. And then I also got some mint leaves here. I'll show you what that's gonna look like though. One second. So here's our ginger. I've been messing with ginger lately, and I know that a little will do you good because I'll be putting a lot in there, and I'll be like, man, this tastes like all fucking ginger. So I'm not going to use too much ginger this time. Um, I'm probably going to be able to fill two of these. This is 16 ounces, probably two 16-ounce containers. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with juicing all this. I'm going to send a juice a little bit just to fill this up so you can kind of see what it looks like. So if you can see the green start here, we're going to fire the baby up. I usually like to put the ginger in the apple first, and the celery, and then all the peels. Because um, I notice when you, sorry, when you use the apple, it foams up. So you get foam at the top once you start juicing the apple first. Um, the mistake I would make is juicing the apple last, and then the foam would just override the top of the juicer. So it's good to use your apple as a base, so that once you put all this stuff, it just rains down, you know, um, takes off all the foam. So. That's what I've learned. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. <laughs> that's just what I've experienced. So um, then we're gonna put our ginger in there. And if you guys have, if anyone has this juicer, it uh, works really, really fast. Um, it's very nice to have. So we'll put a little bit of the watermelon right now, just so we get that green color in there. Because I think the apples will make it look a little brown. I don't want to to see the color of its true juice. There's a couple other juice recipes that I want to start doing. Um, this is just one that I just did this morning, but I usually do a green juice in the morning because uh, I notice it wakes me up. Um, I usually have the sweet juices in the afternoon. Um, cause that's when I, you know, um, I want to drink something sweet. I usually don't like to drink something sweet in the morning. Um, uh, this case I am cause I'm going to go help my buddy build his roof right now. So, um, you know, I want to have a lot of energy and be all uppity. So, I'm doing right now, but, you know, drinking juice is only for Two days haven't been bad. Um, I did eight days drinking juice and eating mangoes, um, and that was amazing, you know. But uh, all the conditioning with eating with friends and everything, and eating out, and I was like, man, I want to go spend time with my friends, and you know, a social thing to do with all your friends is to eat. So I go off to dinner and everything, and that kind of just ended. My, fat, uh, my juice, fruit cleanse, whatever I was doing at that time. But um, eight days was pretty good. I was really, really proud. I'll probably do it again soon, but it's expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Um, depending on where you live, um, like that big ass watermelon, if you guys seen it in the previous video, that was like 10 bucks. I don't know if that's expensive, but if you think of it this way, if you go to the store and you buy a 16 ounce juice, that's gonna cost you like four, five bucks. Um, but you can have five 32 ounce juices for a $10 watermelon. So that's, <laughs> so that's you know, that's the thing right there too. So just to keep in mind. All right, so I'm almost undone juicing all the peel. Let me just, Get all the rest of it there. Oh, I'm just gonna, oh, it's only been five minutes. I'm just gonna juice the rest of this shit. Then. 
if I got enough room. And I want to show you what I meant by the foam really quick. Once I see this is all done. Once you start getting foam when you're juicing, it's good to use the watery fruit. Or, that, that's a vegetable, sorry. <laughs> watery fruit or vegetable, you know. Because uh, then it kind of subsides or subsides the foam, you know, kind of washes it away. I don't know. Term to use. We're going to be almost done here on. I think I'm going to have enough room for all this, yeah. So let me just go ahead and do it. And then I'll just drink the excess. So I can just pack the book up. Those of you who know me in real life, um, go ahead and uh, ask me to um, show any other recipes that I can find. I've just been sharing what I find all the time, so um, I thought I would just make videos in time. I have nothing else to do. So, yeah, give me some... Uh, ideas for juice recipes and I will definitely put them on here. I want to start doing more of this kind of stuff so Alright, so I'm just gonna wait for the juicer to stop. Where's the oh it's right there. I'm gonna just wait for the juicer to stop because um, it's still dripping a little bit so I'm just gonna keep it going for a few more minutes but Be able to fill one of these too. I don't know how much this is. I think it's just 16 ounces too, but just wider. I don't know. Or 12 ounces. Maybe that's 12. Maybe. I don't know. There we go. And there's our peel. You can kind of see it. That's the apple right there. And then that's the peel at green. I'm just gonna mix it all together like this. There we go. And then we'll just pour some up in this little Dr. Braggs. Oh, see, this is the thing that kind of sucks about this juicer. This thing, you just, we gotta get another like attachment. There we go. You just gotta pour it really slow. I was just trying to be retarded and just pour it all fast, so. Yeah, I can smell the ginger. Hopefully I didn't put too much. And then let's put this in this one. Ooh, so I get one of these and I get some watermelon juice for today. And I had a beet juice. So I'm just drinking fucking juice, man. Mm, smells good. Smells very refreshing. I like almost a lemon, but I didn't put a lemon in it. I think it's the ginger. Um, so let's taste it really quick. You can definitely taste the watermelon. There's no bitterness from the peel. It's more of, um, like the watermelon and the ginger together. I don't taste the apple or the celery. It just kind of tastes more like that. Um, you know, if you've been juicing a while and you like the bitter stuff, go ahead and just juice the peel by itself, man. Like, like that's, that'll probably be the best um you know just to straight do it and not waste any of the extra stuff doing it so that's what i did i like to have a little you know flavoring with it instead of it just being all peel so another video i wanted to do um it, it's, it was gonna be kind of funny but i was gonna juice a fucking uh a uh what the hell are they called potato i wanted to juice a potato and see what that would be like just just for fun you know uh, it probably tastes gross as fuck, but um, thank you for watching, and I'm going to be making more videos like this. All right, take care.